Time to play Family Feud. Hey guys, it's boy be back once again. Welcome to back to another edition of the Family Feud right here on my channel. Now, if you saw the last episode, I'm not gonna lie, I failed so hard that I just like I had to put the game down for a while, and it's probably been about at least a couple, maybe three weeks or so since I played. So I'm picking it back up. I'm ready to redeem myself from that last atrocity, and we're gonna see if we can actually get to the fast money round and actually win this one. So let's so let's get right to it. Let's play some few. Give our player a warm welcome. Going head to head against the average score of our expert players. Let's play the Family Feud. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. The question is. Here we go. Name a reason you might send a dish back at a restaurant. Um. Undercooked. I hope it's up there. Let's see. Yep. Yes, way to go. Let's get another one. Uh, it's the wrong order. Let's take a look. Not there. That's a strike. Keep trying. So try again. Um. Hurry, hurry. Survey says. Hand the dish. <coughs> That's the way. Go there again. Go. Um. I'll try don't I like, like it. That answer. I hope it's up there. Too bad, it's not up there. That's two strikes. I know you can do better than that. Show me bug of the Show food. Me. There we go. <clears throat> Beautiful job. What else? Survey says. Really? Gosh, that's your third All right. I only got Let's three. Look at what, you missed. what was number one? Number one. It's cold. Yeah, number three. I didn't think about that. Dirty dish. Show us six. Taste bad. All right. Well, I Let's didn't start off school. nearly as bad as last time, but I am behind. So we're going to see if we can catch up on this next one. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Here's what we asked them. All right. Name something found on the bottom of a shoe. Um. A soul. I like that answer. I hope it's up there. All right. S-O-L-E. <laughs> yes, See, this game allows for my horrible spelling, folks. See, there. that just proves it right there. How about gum? Survey says... There it is. Number one answer. We're in, we're in the okay, business. Okay, it's now. there. What else? Uh, dead bug. Survey says. Uh, nope. Sorry, it's not on the board. I'll have to give you a strike. That's okay. You have another shot. At How about it. a heel? I like that answer. Is it there? There we go. Good Three job. point. You got one. Let's get another one. Um. Dirt? I hope it's up there. Let's see. That didn't make the circle. Sorry. Strike two. You have another shot at it. How about mud? Show me. Really? Okay. I got three out of the six, so we're okay. doing better. What did you miss? What was three? three? Let's see it. I've never had lint on the bottom of my Let's shoe. Number five. Taps. Okay. Come on. Tap six. shoes. Let's and? see it. Dog poo. I see. I was gonna put poo, but I didn't think okay, this game would actually count doing. for that. But poo was up there. I could have picked the poo. Anyway, still behind. 
Let's see if we can play catch up on this thing. Okay, it's the third round. We're playing for double points. Yeah, this is where we play catch up. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here we go. Name an ingredient used to make salsa. Tomato. Let's take a look. Number one answer. Nice. That's the way. There are still more up there. How about peppers? Show me. Nice. Okay, it's there. What else? Onions. I hope it's up there. Let's see. Nice. That's the way. There are still more up there. Um, ingredient. Use make salsa. Um. Um. Got that oh, count some peppers. Um. Celery. Let's take a look. Now, first strike. Not there. Strike one. All right, two chance. answers. Ingredient used to make salsa. Um, water. I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Uh, no, that's not one of our top answers. That's two strikes. That's okay. We have another shot at it. Uh, what about salt? Let's take Let a look. Put some salt on it. Hey, there we go. Yes. Way to go. I honestly did not Let's expect salt to be in there, but all right. One answer to go. Tomatoes, peppers, onions, salt, um, salsa. I don't know what else you put in, put in it. Um, I, oh, I got no hurry. answer. I'm, I'm stumped here. I'm trying to think what the last ingredient is. Let's take a look at what you missed. What was it? Three. Number three. Cilantro. Okay. Well, I'll never have guessed cilantro. Let's look at those All right. scores. 291, 277. All right. We're back in the lead. We are back in the lead. Let's see if we can hold it off in the final round. Nice going so far. Let's see what happens in round four. It's the round where we triple the points. For now, we also need to not mess this up. three answers are on the board. The question is... All right, name someone a kid believes in that an adult doesn't. The Santa Claus. Survey says... Okay, it's there. Let's get another one. How about the Easter Bunny? Survey says... Nice. Good job, you got one. Great, just get one more. And sadly, this is true, but... How about God? I like that answer. Is it there? Okay. No, that was good to see. Good, good to see that. That's a strike. Let's um, again. How about Superman? Good answer. Let's take a look. No, that's not one of our top answers. Strike two. I know you can do better than that. Um. Someone a kid believes in that an adult doesn't. Um, how about the boogeyman? That's a Survey reasonable says... answer. Not the third one. Okay, what did you miss? Let's see number three. Tooth fairy. And that's funny too, because my little great Let's nephew just lost some teeth recently. Wins. So, should have thought of that. Money? 534, 43. We're going to pay fast money. Yeah! Let's do it! It's fast money! Woo! 200 points wins the bonus, you'll get two tries. If you don't know an answer, you can pass and we'll come back to it. Give me 60 seconds on the clock. Get ready, here we go. Let's see if we can do this the first time through. Tell me an age when most kids learn their ABC. Five. Give me something every professional boxer needs. 
Boxing gloves. Right. Name a man who's famous for dancing in the movies. Uh. I think that's how you spell last name. Name an animal you little boys use to frighten girls. Um. Frog. Yes. Name something that might ruin a bank robber's day. The police. Good answers. Let's see if we get it the first time Trying through. Your scores so far. This was the question. Name and age for muskets on the ABCs. You Five. Survey set. Fourteen. Was, Name something every professional boxer needs. You said, Boxing gloves. Survey sets. Nice. There we go. You asked this question. Name a man who's famous for dancing in the movies. You gave us Patrick Swayze. Survey set. No. He asked right. you. Name animal you little boys use frightened girls. Said, Frogs. Survey said. 17. This was the question. Name something that might ruin a bank robber's day. You answered. The police. Survey said. 36. All right. Not bad. I did get the 200 I wanted the first time through, but I get two chances. So. I will ask you the same question. If you hear this sound, you've duplicated an answer and you should try again. Give me 65 seconds on the clock. I like it. Here come the questions. Go. All right. How about four? Cross on me. Our trainer. Same for the, um... Here, Lewis. Little boys used to frighten girls. Um, dog. They might ruin a bank robber's day. Um, getting caught. Wow. All right. Did you beat fast money and get those twenty thousand bonus points? Let's see. I got sixty-seven points. Is what I need to make the money. The question was. How many age for most kids on the ABC? And you said... Four. Survey said... 18. <clears throat> and the answer, answer was, was... Two. I'm shocked it was two. This question. Name something every professional boxer needs. You gave us... Trainer. Survey said... 19. Here's the top One answer. answer. Boxing gloves. I said that. You already had it. Good. All right. We asked you... Name some of man who's famous for dancing in the movies. You said... Jerry Lewis. Survey said... Really? Number one Number answer. One answer was... John Travolta. This was the question. Yeah, maybe back in the Grease days, but not so much the rest of his career. But we'll let that one slide. 30 points away. Name an animal the little boys used to frighten girls. You answered... A dog. 30 points for $20,000. Survey said... Number one answer, was... Spider. I would have said Spider had I had a third chance at this. What? All right, name something that ruined a bank robber's day. Said... Getting caught. Twenty-five points for twenty thousand dollars. Survey says yes. As Got it. Wrote, you win fast money plus twenty thousand points. Put that in the books. We're done with that one. Okay, let's add it all up. Add it all up. 534 plus the 204 plus the $20,000 I won. 20738 And number one answer for that one, of course, the police themselves. All right. Good That's score on that one. Yeah. That is a new score. I like it. Uh, so very close to my top score. Off by just... Uh, $14 or so. Yep. Well, that's going to do it for us here on the Family Feud. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, if you like what you see, click that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more great game shows here on my channel. And make sure you ring, ring the bell for the notification. That way you never miss a video that I drop here on my channel. So... Until the feuding begins once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye for now, folks.